Well, what we'll do now is to start Miss Dixon. We will carry out our pre-start check by checking our arming of our wheel doors ejection which is armed Murphy wire indicating that the right hand wheel door is up confirmed by the gear door switch check our hydraulics our hydraulic bypass valve is off our gear dump valve is off our left hand wheel door is armed our Murphy wire is indicating that the door is up as with the switch the throttle is closed flap switch is off gear is selected down indicating down by our Murphy wires which is handy to know where our gear where our gear is should we lose electrics undercarriage wheel doors are up normal 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 clocks turned off normal 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 avionics master off normal 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 they are activated by the avionics master our circuit breakers the prop circuit breaker is pulled because we've disconnected the variable pitch all in off in in master switch off alternator off standby battery off ignition off ignition off fuel pumps off starter off our pre-start checks are complete now we will start fuel tanks dipped indicating two hours 15 minutes endurance master switch on check our voltage sufficient for starting check our lights we have undercarriage lights and lights on our trim and we have got voltage standby battery is off main ignition off standby ignition on main fuel pump off standby fuel pump on we have pressures and we are now ready for a start checking for clearance of our prop start we have pressures our amp switch on we have a charge we have it indicating at 14 volts we will now check our standby systems put our standby battery on turn our main battery off still have lights and voltage master on standby battery off we will check our fuel pumps, the main fuel pump on, standby fuel pump off, we have voltage. We will check now our ignition, we will build up some revs, standby ignition off, main ignition on. You heard the drop that was changing from one system to the other and we are now ready for our electronics check on on or on or on or 
turn our avionics master on and we will set 1215 for our L to check. It's okay, L is not inadvertently on and we are back on to our local frequency of 120. We have our transponder on VFR for New Zealand of 1200 and it is on ELK so we'll change it to standby. It's on standby. We'll check our function, flight time, we'll clear it. And we agree with the terms of the GPS and we will wait until it captures before setting our flight plan. So now we are ready to taxi out and we'll carry out our cockpit checks.